steal the parade house. I just set off an alarm on a car. Feeding time. Feed me more. Yo, what's going on? What's crack a lack and it's feeding time, bitches? Hello, I am the big guy Ryback and I'm here. I'm in Chicago. I'm actually in St. Charles, about 45 minutes out of Chicago. I just got in. Uh, I've been traveling all day. I got up at 3 a.m. I had about an hour and a half of sleep. Slept, had a little short flight to Salt Lake City and then from Salt Lake City to uh, Chicago. It got delayed a little bit. I'm finally in. It's about 4.37. I got dinner tonight. I'm here uh, finalizing some stuff for Feed Me More Nutrition, uh, having a, a fulfillment company here, supplement fulfillment company, taking over feedmemore.com, the orders and all the inventory, which taking a look at the facility and everything tomorrow. And uh, I've talked about it a little bit on here. And uh, man, so I got in. I'm getting, I got doing Taco Bell today, guys. They have on their vegetarian menu, seven layer burritos. So I got some of these. I'm like, you know what? Uh, fuck it, I'm gonna make a video. Uh, why not? I'm always working, I'm trying to get content for Ryback TV. St. Charles review of Taco Bell. And uh, cause all I ate was uh, Baja Fresh this morning. I had uh, veg vegetables, rice and beans with their little guacamole and Baja sauce and a bag of sun chips. So uh, I'm starving. And uh, I'm going in, guys. I'm going in. I haven't had these yet. Off the vegetarian menu, off the of Taco Bell. I got my napkins. I don't have my, my dash. My, this phone is a little crooked, guys. I got a Starbucks cup holding up my phone here on the cam. And uh, I'm hoping to get some more footage, though, for Ryback TV tomorrow. I'm here uh, for two, two and a half days, so... Without further ado, I don't got my loser food tray. We're just going in. I'll give you guys a good little look at that. It's not, I was hoping they would be a little bit bigger. That's what she said. But they're, uh, you know, it'll do. I got some hot sauce here. We'll see about that. And uh, that's what it says on it. I, uh, going off, the guys, is rice, beans, cheese. And again, I'm not doing... I know that some people can't read when I write stuff. I'm doing primarily plant-based. I'm still doing a couple eggs. I'm doing my grass-fed iso-hungry whey protein isolate. I'm not like doing the full-blown. I'm trying not to eat cheese and in milk, but if I have it, I'm not like, oh my God, ah! I'm just trying not to eat animal protein. And I think that is a huge win and I'm a month in and I'm loving it. I've gained more muscle. I feel better than ever. I mean, look at my face. I've been traveling all day, little sleep, sleeping on the, the shit airplanes, the Delta planes they've made smaller since I've last traveled in them and I've gotten bigger. So it was, uh, and I still was able to, I took a little siesta on the flight from Salt Lake City to Chicago and I'm sure I snored and bothered the hell out of a lot of people, but I'm a big grizzly bear of a man. What the fuck do you expect? Here we go. Mm. 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 Smell it. Give a good little smell there, guys. Get your fucking finger out of it, Jeffrey. Always the kids named Jeffrey that are always fucking shit up for everybody else. Mm. Mm, oh. mm. I don't know how I feel about my hotel. It actually looks decent. It was a three star in St. Charles. I don't go under a three. You got to go three stars. I learned that WWE. You go under three stars, you're really, you're really chancing it. And I'm not bad. Don't have stayed in five stars. Those are. Those are great. But at the end of the day, is a three star you're gonna get a you're gonna get a decent bed. Mm. And then anything else over that? Like if I was meeting a chick here, I'd I'd get a five star. But I'm not. 
I don't want the chick to think I'm a loser. I'm also in St. Charles, Illinois, so I don't think there's even a five star here. Mm. I'm so hungry. I think you guys know by this point, when I'm hungry, I need more information. More information. More hot sauce. Uh, you know, it's not hard eating plant-based as far as not eating animal protein. And uh, there's, I think we get so, we're, we've been so force-fed that we need all this protein. And there's protein in all this. And I, I'm getting as much protein as I ever have. And I've actually found my metabolism has increased eating even more carbs. I'm also shitting way more, but that's because I'm eating a lot more fiber. And uh, I honestly believe my body is just functioning at a higher level. I've noticed an improvement in my conditioning. I've gained muscle mass, my muscle density, my body fat's gone down. And the only thing that has changed is I've added, uh, taken out animal protein. I'll go get lab work done though. We'll look at the labs in about a month and I'll follow that up. And if I see positive changes, we'll continue on. And uh, not to say that I won't have a date and go eat at Texas Day Brazil every once in a blue moon and stuff my face full of garlic steak, because I probably will. But I just don't think we're meant to eat that stuff all the time at the level that we are. And that's just my opinion on it. I don't give a fuck how you eat. But I know there's a lot of you that care how I eat, and we'll leave it in the comments. So continue being worried, because I don't care. <laughs> mm. Snow out here. This is Aunt Vegas. Do I have. Oh, this is good. Guy at the front and there's probably what is this, a 300 guy pound guy just eating burritos attacking burritos in the parking lot i hope he doesn't check in here mm. i have to go make my pre-workout my wake up limited energy after this i hope it doesn't keep me up i'm already going to be all screwed up with the time difference i got on the shuttle at the airport though I thought it was a straight shot to the rental cars. And there was like one other person at the far end. It was one of those big buses. So I'm sitting with my bags all alone. Well, like, fuck it, I'm gonna let some farts out. You guys, well, we've all been there. It's, you know, it's bad for you to hold them in. I, I like to think so. And you know, you can't, I was on the airplane and I don't know when I sleep if I, I'm cutting them left and right on there. There's a good chance. I've, I, I know, remember with WWE being so tired sometimes and being out. And I remember, like, you know when, like, you're sleeping? And, like, and I just remember, like, I'd be, like, I'd like, kind of wake up. And I remember, like, I'd sometimes I could hear myself farting. And I'm just like, fuck it. If someone has an issue with it, they could wake me up. We could talk about it. You know, I'm asleep. What can I do about it? It's not like I had, I have no control over the situation. But on this shuttle today, I did have control. And I was like, fuck it. There's nobody around. I'm not going to, like, fart if there's people around. I'm not, I'm not an asshole. And uh, so I let out some bombs, and uh, then the shuttle stopped, and like 20 people got on and sat all around me, and I just, I go, fuck it, fucking, that, that, those Baja Fresh rice and bean vegetable burritos I had this morning, you know, I look at it like they weren't on the shuttle when I let them out, so I'm not, it's not, but I mean, I'm clearly, I'm sure everyone knew it was me, how, how could it not be, the guy wearing a Generation Iron all jacked out of his mind, Clearly, they knew it was my farts, but it wasn't like animal meat protein farts. There was, you know, veggie farts. That's cute, right? Okay. Oh, this is good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I think I got more than enough information. I do have one left though, guys. 
But what I'm gonna do is, cause, cause I'm tight on time, I'm gonna eat this with my pre-workout. I'm gonna go check in, cause I gotta get ready. And uh, meet the guys for dinner tonight with all this, cause I'm trying to get everything uh, as my, my business grows and would feed me more nutrition and allows me, it will allow me more free time and to make more better decisions. And we're gonna be using two different manufacturers cause I'm getting better pricing on some things which will allow me to expand even further, continuing to grow and evolve uh, as I'm learning about business, just to dove in head first and uh, into the pool of business and entrepreneurship. And uh, obviously had read a lot before I got into it, but the only way you really can learn things in life is by just physically fucking doing it. I'm actually listening to Grant Cardone's book again, 10X. I've listened to that book multiple times. I always get something from it. And I know Grant can sometimes, either you love him or you hate him. I think if you know Grant's story and you understand where he comes from, and uh, and I know Grant can sometimes come off come off a little bit salesy, but that's it's a good thing. It's it's the guy in when you, when you know the story, it, it makes it a lot easier to process. But if you're just listening, because I've heard it from enough people, when if you just hear him for the first time, and uh, you got it, the guy though, man, he, he's killing it. But a lot of good things from that and uh, that I've been doing and just keeping an open mind to business and continuously improving all this. So shut the fuck up and review the parade house. Um, this hotel's definitely not going to let me check in. These windows aren't tinted so they can just see me. This is the front desk and they have the windows inside. Fuck. Staff probably just... I gotta walk in and smile at him. Hey guys, I was just doing a ride back TV. Oh, you've never heard of me? Why don't you fucking subscribe and turn on the fucking notifications? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, anyways, guys, that seven layer burrito, uh, vegetarian burrito from Taco Bell. Five stars. That's ten, but we're five on each hand. Five stars. Two thumbs up. It had a little guacamole, lettuce, cheese, rice. It was delicious. I would have preferred for it to be uh, uh, a little bigger. But, you know, I got multiple, so I'm a satisfied, happy camper with that. And uh, I think just check into, I read the, there's a good book called Eating Animals on factory farming. I, th I would like everybody to listen to it, read it or listen to it. It's available on Audible. I think it will open your eyes to a, a massive problem that we have uh, going on in the United States on how animals are treated. And I think, too, we sometimes... You see how China treats dogs, and we go, those people are pieces of shit. Fuck them for how they treat dogs. But if you saw how we actually treat cattle, pigs, things of that nature, um, we're no fucking better. So, and I say that as a whole because it's, we've been conditioned to eat a certain way, and I think it just was never meant to be at this massive of a level. And um, I don't, I don't think... I just think being conscious of it, 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 it's the only way we could raise awareness. And I chose to ignore it for a long time for my own selfish needs of thinking that I needed so much protein. And it's all a bunch of bullshit. And I got it. It's a newsflash, guys. We're all, in, we're all in the same shit together. We've all been misled by big businesses that choose to make money uh, in a bad way. And I've said that from the beginning. And that was one of my reasons for going with Feed Me More Nutrition, trying to change the supplement industry, because there's so many pieces of shit that simply don't give a fuck about people. And they're choosing to sell bad for only pure profit when you could sell good and make money still and everybody wins. And that is me. That is my mindset. And I will never fucking change that. And that is why I'm very, when I believe in something, I believe in it. And because uh, there's a lot of bad people. There's a lot of good people, too. But in far, as far as business goes, we've been led down a fucking, uh, down the wrong road for far too long. And it's not saying we can't eat that stuff, because I do believe we can. And I do believe our ancestors hunted and killed animals. And I think it was more of a luxury and a treat. I don't think they were eating it seven times a day, being forced it on every corner, because everybody's just making money. And once your eyes are open to all that, you really will start trying to inform yourself on, on more knowledge. And that's all I want you to do, is just increase your knowledge and because uh, that's all I try to do and, and learn and go not to say that I'm right all the time or I'm wrong all the time just try to constantly increase uh, the amount of knowledge that we put in our brains and so we could form uh, more educated opinions on things so that's it guys feeding time sorry I had to get all weird at the end on that shit stupid just review the fucking food and fucking wrestle and fucking tights I just set off an alarm on a car.
God damn, big guy, your fucking vibrational force is off the charts. All right, guys, get hungry, stay hungry, feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you could smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel, and for Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10, click here for my podcast conversation with the big guy, Ryback, available on all podcast platforms. Click here. And for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV, click here. Feed me more.